Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do... Or we talk... Or we put out whatever I want to put out because a can can and a can can a can 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 and a wheel. All right, I love that little saying I got. I hope y'all love it too. All right, but we're at the BT BET award ceremony. Oh, as you can see, you got Big Frida, you got Nene, and you got Ray J with his punk ass in the back. Okay, I can't believe that Joker was eating. At the award show. Some people had said he would eat some ramen noodles. I'm like, it's not got that bad for Ray J. He can't get no real Chinese food. No Asian food. No Japanese food. He got to eat ramen noodles. I mean, ramen noodles. He got to eat ramen, ramen noodles. Really now? Really. But that's Ray J. Okay. He another dumb ass. Oh, for the masses. For the elites. All right. But I guess how BET had their sit seating arrangements that seemed like they put them all together who was in that College Hill show. Um, I don't know if I saw anybody else other than those three hanging out or whatever. But we know Candy was there and she presented. All right. Her and Eva both were there. And I think Cynthia was there, but I didn't see her get caught on camera or maybe I missed it but honey candy is embedded in Nini's MFing brain okay and that's about right for candy something everywhere every time you look up candy go to the store candy go to the turn TV on candy go to the hospital candy <laughs> just be riding in the street candy candy run, running around in the street candy 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 girl yes and Candy even told on her own stuff about that black outfit she was wearing. She didn't anticipate it getting hot, okay? I don't know why she didn't. I mean, we're in the right, fresh, right summer month. Just turned June 21st. And she's going to put on some plastic shit or some leather shit. And it's just clinging to her. But it ain't me, you know, throwing salt on her name. It's her. She actually was telling the interviewer that we're interviewing her or, or talking with her on the red carpet she have a, a wardrobe malfunction because the stuff just want to stretch out and show her cleavage you know what i'm saying and Tar said we, we'll handle it we'll handle it and he you know he was joking uh, joking with it as well but i, I could tell candy was kind of nervous that she would probably have to uh skedaddle out of that outfit or walk very closely because it was going to pull apart and we were going to see her breast assist okay <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she didn't care one one bit. She just didn't want to get caught with the higher ups. And as you can see, Yanni got on some Scooby Doo's or those are shoes, you know, in my Jay Z voice, those Scooby Doo's. All right, and um, uh, whatever. <laughs> this lying ass helper right here. This lying ass helper. Think. Things are going to come to her easily. She thinks no karma is going to come her way. Now, she just did an interview. It could have been a day or two before the BET Awards. Just sat down with E.T. Entertainment Tonight, for those who don't know. And sitting in the back and are confused with my acronyms. All right. Nene said this was her friend, y'all. When you take your friend along with you and be hooked up like that. That ain't no friend. And you just giving more images, more plots to the story that, what is her name? Mameline? Mameline? Oh, I don't know her name, but we're going to call her Miss M. Okay, Miss M. 
You give her as much footage as she possibly can stand. They're just putting all the pieces together to make one big puzzle to have you thrown out. Okay? Of Hollywood in a sense. Because about time she finished draining your bank account, Nene. You're not going to be worth anything. And as we can see, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Guess what? You don't have no real job anymore. Your base of income is the Lenithia. Okay? And it's not jam-packed these days. Even though you had to reopen it after closing it mysteriously. We still don't know what happened with that. But you got it back open. I guess that's all that really matters for the public that wants to go out there and patron your business. Okay? Get it, got it good. But you need to stop lying, girl. You need to stop lying. Lying is not a good look on you or anybody else. Because why are you lying, lying, lying? You didn't need it. Like Nene was older then, wasn't she, y'all? She didn't have no good make makeup artist nor hairdresser, I guess. I don't know. But she is definitely not the girl. Okay? She's not the girl. She's gotten lighter. She loves her blonde and uh, brunette type mixture. And I'm glad somebody told her because I didn't like that straight blonde wig. It was not doing her any good. The wig, the color looks very nice on her. Face is made up very nice. Outfit very endearing, shoes fly, but her companion is off the chain. It's off. It's just ratchet. It's just <sighs> deceitful. It's um, discombobulating. Okay, and I'm so perplexed that I am so confused, so confused to why you think you were dragged into this situation. But you flaunting her husband, okay? What you need to be asking, Shabba Man Scammer, is why did you take your uh, wife to Paris last year? Okay? That's what you need to be asking him. I don't know if y'all were fooling around last year or not because Greg was sick and you were too fit to be tired because you didn't want to stay there and help him. And I thought those marriage vows were for better, for worse, sickness and health, richer or poorer. Okay? They should have had obey in there for your behind but you would have broke that sanction as well. Okay? Because you don't pay attention to the marriage. Uh, sanctity of marriage. Most people don't these days. It doesn't really surprise me. They might really try to take the, the whole matrimony thing out. They might feel like, because it's just a, uh, what do you call it? It's something that's brewing. Uh, some kind of lifestyle is brewing for the masses. Where one day, you're not going to have to be married. They're going to be like, it's going to be shined upon. It's going to be like a put down to be married. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just so much evil and sinful stuff out there. That they're making everything that was good is bad. Everything that's bad is good. You see what I'm saying? And they're doing it in little doses here and there, here and there, here and there. And Nene, unfortunately, she has gotten bit by that particular bug. And she wants to be known, seen, heard of every day. She wants people to look for her when she's out. She's always looking for that photographic moment in time uh she you know and she's not gonna talk to the layman people because we already have caught her in action okay not being friendly to people in georgia at the airport you know trying to get a little handshake photo selfie or whatever and nene just act like she didn't know the person and said she was gonna call security okay i'm like oh, what okay but candy on the other hand she's endearing she would go on and sign an autograph for the millions or masses if she had to or she felt like it you know if you call her at a good time yeah she would put her john hancock anywhere you probably wanted it to be okay as long as todd was you know there in case she wanted to like sign somebody's breast or back or something like that he wanted to make sure everything was cool she you know she was asked to do that so he could be a witness okay but yeah that's the dress that she was saying was clinging and, and she was going to have a, a wardrobe uh, malfunction because the middle part, the, the dress at the top should have been closer to her cleavage in the inside. But it was just going away. Just, you know, running away from her. And she was saying it's going to be opened up to a hot mess of boobs. And she didn't want to be looking bad or somebody try to expose her or, or, or 
cancer her just because you know her wardrobe had malfunctioned. But I'm like, Candy, you've been into you've been to LA so many times, baby girl, so many times, and you already down here in this hottest heat that we call the state of Georgia. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia. You know it's down south with all the clay to dirt. <sighs> That's why they call us the dirty south. But girl, we have been hitting those record number three digits with the degrees out there. So why you thought California was going to be cool and you left Georgia when you know it's going to be hot and then you're walking around in some plastic or leather did you not think it was going to stick to your skin? Girl, because we know you ain't cool like ice. You hot. You hot, girl. You hot. And therefore, it was going to stick to you. But okay, maybe you were just happy to go to the BET Award and present. And you just threw caution to the wind. And, you know, all that jazz. Okay? So that's why you got the outfit cutting up on you. But I'm so glad that when you were doing your interview, uh, your wardrobe sort of kind of stayed in place okay even though i know you mess with it girl and you were looking at it and tall he wasn't paying attention not really he just trying to get his sides together in that photo optic moment he was in he was trying to look to the left to the right he was trying to get the camera to get his best angle i saw him i saw him and i ain't mad at all get it how you can honey get it how you can get the attention however you can yes Yes, yes, yes. So I can say, Todd definitely did that. Yeah, he did. He did it. He did it. He did it. And that was good. That was good that he showed up and showed out for you behind. But we don't need any ass is what we own. Every time I catch a video showing her with that man, I'm going to be up on my YouTube channel just blaring her out. And hopefully her um, person that's trying to sue her, which is Yanni's wife, Hopefully, she will see all these videos that all these content creators are making on the foolishness that she took her friend to the awards 2022, okay, and tried to match clothing with him. And I can say did it very well, did it very well. All of it came together. And so she knew what she was doing. And she more than likely got his consent to wanting to be dressed like her. Because when you dress like your mate or your partner or your whatever relationship you're in, you're in a relationship. That means you're loving on that person and that person is loving back on you. But on the interview that you did with Entertainment Tonight, do you remember? Do you remember? When you was in that seat and the lady was interviewing you. Do you remember saying he was just a friend and that's all we need to know now? Do you remember? Yes, I could go on and on and on, girl. But I know y'all didn't come to hear me sing Michael Jackson and all that jazz. Okay, y'all didn't want that. But I just got mad again. That I hate when people try to lie to your face and do shit behind your back. And then they think the shit ain't going to come back and that it ain't stinking. Okay, it ain't stinking, because it is stinking, okay, it's stinking, not you stinking, it is. the whole attitude, your behavior is very stanky, oh, and I get so tired of your people, or you coming on my channel, in the, in the comment section, and try to d give you a defense, when there's no defense, Nene, you putting this shit out here. Even a blind person can see just by listening to your 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 nonsense is spewing out of your mouth. Okay, the nonsense that is spewing out of your mouth. That's what we can't take. That's what we're getting you on. We're getting you on not being accountable, not holding yourself accountable. You say face card. I say face value. All right, face value sounds a little bit more brighter than card. Okay, we're not talking about a freaking card. We're talking about your behavior, your character, your demeanor. We're talking about that, Nene, which you do not possess. And you sit up there and lied on a big old franchise, which is entertainment tonight. And said that man was just your friend. Well, you know. Y'all are dropping it low and spreading it wide. And he still got the M letter on his back. Married man. Two M's. Married man. You did better flying and fooling around with Ray J. 
but it's Ray J single. I don't know, but we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have thought nothing of that type of situation. Oh, but you had to get the shine. You see, Big Frida was trying to get her shine, but you and the little baby boy over there, Ray J, trying to get some spotlight shine too. Talking about you sitting up here, you've been in the business for so. No, you got experience in the business, but you're not solidified. You're not an icon. You're not a go getter. No matter what, no matter what, okay. But still having oral, uh, what do you call it, uh, morals, values, and a mission set out. Well, you don't mean to offend or, 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 or give more, get more foes. You just want to make your stamp in the entertainment business. But you really haven't. You're not an actor. You're not an actor. You're not an actress. You can't dance. You can't do choreography. You can't produce. What can you do? You can't create. Then you said something stupid as hell. They say, well, what do, you, what, do we, what do you have planned for yourself? Is there any projects you're working on at this time? This helper said, yes, I'm creating a lot of things in my mind. And she thought that was silly. I mean, she thought that was funny. She thought that was uh, appeasing. You don't do an interview like that, Nene. You don't do an interview like that. When you're in the mass of the millions and they're giving you a platform to speak on something, which we were talking about speaking on you and what you were doing for your career, this, that, and third. Because see, you don't told everybody you blackballed. That was a good opportunity right there on that forum, Entertainment Tonight, to speak about being blackballed. If that is truly going on with you. Because I don't think they blackballing your knee. I just, they trying to think of a better way. To slide your ass out the door where they don't even have to come across your name or your face again. Because you've made a mockery out of the very thing you said you enjoyed, which is entertainment. Do you not think you're not going to be a part of that casting couch? Do you not think there's going to be discrimination, racism, sexism? Do you think you're going to be immune to any of that, Nene? Think about your culture. Think about your race. Has anything seriously changed with racial profiling, discrimination against brown people, unfair prison sentences? Has any of that changed, Nene? Because, see, as loud as this, as, as, what do you call it, as secretive you're trying to keep it, the shit is com coming out. In doses, in droves. Whatever done in the dark will come to light. Me, me. And oh Lord, when the sun sets on you, you're going to be crying out your ass before the day breaks come. And you think Yanni's going to be in your corner? No, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. No, God. He's not going to be there. Because he's Mr. Shabba, scammer man. Okay? SSM. Shabba, scammer man. Get used to it. Get used to seeing the back of him and the back of his shoes. Scooby Doo's, okay? Look at the back, cause that's what you're gonna see as he walk out your life and walk into the sunset. Maybe with a new a new suitor to scam, or he may be going back to his wife, and you're gonna be looking foolish. But don't blame don't blame Peter, because you are a willing participant. At this time and the time that you said you wanted to have that man in your life. Now I know Greg said, probably said, could have said, we don't know. We just going by what you tell us. That he wanted you to be happy. I'm damn sure Skippy, he didn't want you to be with no married man. You could have been with a divorcee, newly divorced man, but not a married man. I don't think anybody on this earth would have wanted you to take and make a decision like that. But you did, Nina. You did. And then your ass sat up here and came with the companion, the friend. And anybody that can really size up a situation by looking at it vicariously, they can say without a shadow of a doubt that you are in a relationship with that man. And it's probably plausibly sexual. Now, as you can see, we have a different basis of Nene Leaks. Okay? I don't know. She looked like all this Methuselah in that middle picture. She's trying to get the Hollywood life black and white thing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway. That's all I got for this video, guys. 
If she cuts up some more and brings me more material, I sure will be on her ass. Like y'all said, I was on porch of that. See, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not biased. I will come to you if you don't make sense. If you try to make a fool out yourself. And I know you can be much better. You can do better. But with your hatredness, your enviness, your jealousness, and I'm just putting it out there because I really do think you are quite obsessed and infatuated to a sickening degree of Candy Burris. I really do. I think you wish you were in her shoes, but you're not because you're 54 years old, you're hard headed, you're stubborn, and you're pig headed. Okay, you don't want to learn stuff. You want everything to be given to you. And the reason why you like reality shows is because there's no script. There's no script for you to read. They'll probably tell you, why don't you talk about this? Why don't you talk about that? Or here's a subject you can talk about and make it your own. That's the profile. That's why you like reality TV. But if somebody gave you an opportunity, such as the opportunities uh, Cynthia Bailey has been a part of, which she's becoming to be in films, in movies now, even if she's still a cameo role, she's learning something new and trying to horn in on that. Candy, she's definitely had her foot solidified in the acting world, in the acting, acting field. She's doing a lot of acting. So, yes, I could see her getting an Emmy one day or a... Um, Damn, I can sell pull up surprise. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, but she's gonna hone horn in on that EGOT, meaning the Emmys, the Grammys, the Oscars, and what's the other one, y'all? Emmys. Let me write this down. Uh, Emmys, Grammys, Oscar. Shoot. I forgot what's the T for y'all. Damn, I can't even think of it. I might think of it before I end this video. If, if not, put it down in the title. Put it down in the title. Y'all know I was, on, I was on a roll. I was on a roll. But I cannot think what the T was for. Tony. Is that, is that y'all? Tony. Could it be the Tony Award? Because <sighs> she already got the Grammy. So she needs to E, the O, and the T. I don't know if she's going to get an Oscar with some of the parts that she's playing. But hell, if Denzel Washington can get an Oscar for training day. Okay, which is really below his standards. And the acting ability is much more greater in other movies. But they wanted to give it to him for that. And same thing. Wanted to be a prostitute, a hoe, or, or just seen in a demeaning light. Halle Berry got hers from Monsters Ball. So I don't know. They might give a uh, candy one for Ella Clark. You know, all her sexualness and her desires of wanting to be with men and women. And I hope she'll never go to the bestiality because then I'm really off for her. I'm really off for her. I'm like, nope, lights out. Game over. Can't talk about her no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you just never know when you get up there you start being illuminated and they start getting you opportunities uh, giving you all the wars you want everything's at your fingertips you think that's a price that's gonna come with zero accountability <laughs> no ma'am okay so that's all i got for this video guys y'all like a love gotta have more i will see y'all next video